Toby, the, the cross country season's getting really close mm -hmm. to the end here. We mm -hmm. got the conference championships coming up this mm -hmm. weekend, but let's look back a couple of Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Had a meet at Linfield, mm -hmm. uh, hosted by Linfield mm -hmm. down in Oregon, and the biggest field you guys ran against all season. Mm -hmm. uh, just talk about how things went for the Pirates at that meet. Yeah, on the women's side, we ran well, considering where we were at. Uh, we had some injuries and some sicknesses uh, that kept us being at full strength. Still had people run, but they weren't able to run at their uh, full potential. Uh, some of them just kind of paced some teammates. But even with that, we had some really good performances uh, on the women's side, and we feel like our team finish for where we were at was, was really good. So we, we left that meet very uh, positive. On the men's side, had a couple guys uh, coming off of some sicknesses, but for the most part, we were at full strength, and we ran that way, and, and we felt we had a really good meet. You talk about the sicknesses, mm -hmm. where are we? Obviously, this is the mm -hmm. week you don't want to have sicknesses yeah. or injuries or yeah. anything. How healthy are we going into this meet? Yeah, we are fairly healthy. Um, again, this time of year with uh, uh, our fall break at Whitworth coming up this coming weekend, uh, oftentimes it's um, uh, midterms. And so it's really a uh, distressful time for the student athletes as they are doing school and competing. Um, with that said, I think we're in a good place. Uh, hopefully we're in a better place uh, five days from now, but right now I feel pretty good about where we're at. How does the experience of having a championship meet at home, essentially, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, change the, how does that change the experience for the student athletes? Yeah, you know, we're not getting in a, a van or a bus and traveling somewhere and, and usually competing in a place where no one's ever competed before. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, still there's, there's the uh, anticipation of a conference championship. And like I told them, they get to sleep in their own bed. They get to eat their own food. Um, they're going to have a lot more uh, fans there than a typical meet uh, for us. The, the real benefit that we have is we had hosted the, the West Region Championship last year. And uh, so it's the similar course, not the exact same course, but very similar. And so our athletes that are returning have a little more uh, familiarity with that course. Handicap the field. Mm -hmm. Handicap the Pirates' chances. Where yeah. do you think we stack up heading into this meet? Yeah, on the women's side, again, George Fox is really, really good. And then uh, Pacific is also very, very good. Has uh, a really good pack of runners. I think those two will be vying for the conference championship with probably George Fox having the lead. Then after that, I think it's anybody's ball game. There's, uh, there's probably four teams that could get in that third place. So if that means four teams in that third place, there'll be four teams kind of fighting for third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Um, on the men's side, Are the Pirates one of those teams. Oh yeah, sorry, and yeah, we're one of those teams, so we'll be in that mix, um, and uh, and then we'll have some individual performance on the women's side that we're excited about. Lily uh, Jones is a freshman, could be vying for the freshman runner of the year, and then Madeline Buckley, who's been uh, you know a top uh, runner in the conference for the last few years, and sh she herself was a freshman runner of the year. Uh, she'll be up there uh, near the front. Uh, on the men's side, uh, again, George Fox is pretty dominant. Um, after that, Lewis and Clark is very good, um, and then we put ourselves in that mix too, and then there's kind of the rest of the pack. Uh, and so it really comes down to, um, you know, the team effort on all the teams on race day. Uh, there's a lot of really good individual runners on teams that don't necessarily have a team chance, and so that's going to complicate some things as well.